Hola, hola. ¿Qué tal? Pero qué puntualidad, eso me gusta. Hello, good <ríe> night. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Cómo han estado? ¿Todo bien? Sí, todo bien, gracias. Yes, I am fine. Great. That's Todo great. Bien. Vaya. Si no han cenado, ahí me van a disculpar por el tema de respecto a comidas. <ríe> Así que les va a dar hambre. Ok. Vaya. Solo permítanme compartir unas imágenes al grupo. Porque algunos no se van a conectar. Debido a que tienen algún inconveniente de salud, etc. Pero igual. Queremos mantenerlos actualizados, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a ver. Argueta dice. Buenas noches, no podré conectarme a la clase porque tengo clases en la universidad. Ok, le voy a poner. Vaya, le voy a compartir las capturas de pantalla o las fotos en el grupo para que los que no se van a conectar, por lo menos que estén... Eh, como al tanto, ¿verdad?, de lo que vamos a ver el día de ahora. No sé cuánto se les va a tardar en cargar porque está un poco eh, lenta la página de WhatsApp, pero al solo puedan verla, van a saber de lo que vamos a estar hablando durante la clase. Bueno, como les dije, es un tema bastante eh, bonito, podría decir, y a la vez, pues, por el, la hora, creo que le va a dar hambre. <risa> Pero vamos a hablar sobre my favorite food, ¿ok? My favorite food or food that you like or dislike or dislike. In my case, for example, that's going to be basically our topic for today's uh, class, which is my favorite food. Or you can talk about the food that you like or dislike. All right. Actually, guys, I really love all kinds of food. The majority of food, I love pupusas, traditional food. I love uh, Mexican food. I love Chinese food. Almost all kinds of food. However, I don't really eat pork because I get a stomachache if I eat pork. So it's something that I don't... I don't eat, I'd rather not eat that food because it's kind of complicated for me if I eat it. I don't know if I'm allergic or I don't know what's going on, but I sometimes get a stomachache when I eat pork. So that's the reason why I don't, I would say I dislike pork, okay? But if you invite me to eat pizza, hamburgers, traditional food, food from other countries, There is a kind of food that I really want to try, which is Korean food. I have, I have a friend who went to Korea like three or five years ago, and she went to finish uh, some studies right there. She stayed for two years in that country, and she learned, I think that was two years or three years, I'm not sure actually, But she learned the language, the Korean language. She learned about culture. She learned how to cook because uh, she usually uploads some photos with the food, Korean food that she made. Uh, that is homemade food from Korea. And it looks delicious, actually. The food, the soup, everything, the rice. I really want to try that food. I have never tried that one, just Chinese food. Well, it's supposedly to be from China, right? But the food that we eat here in El Salvador is more Salvadorian related, which is uh, China wok, panda, all right? They taste delicious, that food they tastes delicious, but I'm not really sure if it is from China or <laughs> they made it here just to uh, make us feel happy, I don't know. All righty. Now, that, that's the food I really love, and that's the food I dislike. I would say I like almost all kinds of food. 
but I don't like pork, all right? I'm sorry, I have just eaten. Acabo de comer. I feel so, so full. Me siento bien lleno. Okay, but I want to I want to let you talk. Raise your hands if you want to uh, participate. Okay, and tell me what food do you like? What food do you like? What food do you like? And the second question: What kinds of food? What kinds of food? You can say what food do you like or what kinds of food do you like. What kinds of food do you dislike? Dislike means that you don't eat that food at all. For example, my wife, she doesn't like milk. I love milk. She doesn't like atollis. I love atollis. Atol de lote, de cualquier tipo de atol. De hecho, yo lo preparo y hasta el momento no he probado atol como el que yo hago. Buenísimo. De todo, sí. Hago de maicena, hago de maíz tostado, hago de, eh, de lote, súper rico, lo probaran, se quedaran encantadísimos. Pero hasta el momento, se los, se los puedo asegurar, no he probado atol como el que yo hago. En los planes de rendero venden atol supuestamente de, de, de marañón. Un día de estos compré, no, que he seccionado con ese dólar, mejor me hubiera comido otra cosa. Pero igual, no me gusta. No me gusta. Prefiero, tengo, tengo como un, un micumbito donde tengo todo, el, todo tipo de harinas y yo lo preparo. Me queda, pero quedarán encantadísimos. El arroz, de, el arroz en leche. Antes en el Mr. Donuts vendían arroz en leche rico, pero no sé por qué le bajaron a la calidad. Yo prefiero pagar algo, aunque sea caro, pero que yo quede satisfecho y no pagar algo mediocre y quedar así como que ah, le faltó esto, le faltó lo otro. Y yo lo preparo súper rico. Los que les gusta el atol quedarán encantados conmigo. Ok, let's listen to what kinds of food do you like and what kinds of food do you dislike. Let's listen to some of you. Ok, raise your hands, your icon hand, if you want to participate. Any volunteer? No volunteers? Ok, I have Julio. Thank you, Julio. Uh, I like the, I like, excuse me, I, I have a call me. Okay, take the call. Ponga mute y tómela. Okay, talking about food, ocean, or let's see, seafood, food from the ocean, seafood. I really like seafood, however, if you haven't heard about the last news, breaking news, there is an illness going on in the world. Most of the time cases in the United States. People who eat seafood, they are uh, getting ill. They are, they are getting sick. And there is a bacteria. I don't remember how they call the bacteria, but the bacteria eats their skin and their, I mean, the, their, their meat, the human meat. Se come eh, la piel humana y la carne humana, esa bacteria, por comer mariscos crudos. Y eso ya sucedió en Estados Unidos y no lo han escuchado la, las noticias. Investíganlo. Pero está súper feo eso. Bacteria come carne, se llama. Uh -huh. So, I love uh, seafood, but I'm not going to try to eat seafood because of the illness. But I want to listen to some, some of you talking. So Julio took the phone call, so he was not able to express himself. But let's listen to Karina. I'm sorry, Catherine. OK. Well, in my case, um, I love to eat. And um, I love to try a lot of type of food. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, the do you like I do you like red beans? Yes. Okay. I love, it. I love them. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the food that I never try to eat to throw is the 
the bitter sweet because I hated the bitter sweet. But um, the most of the time, I like to eat a lot of type of food. I don't have problem with the food because I love to eat, but it's really difficult because when I eat a lot of food and my weight is at the height. And, okay, so um, you get overweight. Yeah. <laughs> What's the food? And, what kinds of food do you dislike? Um, I think it's bitter sweet. What do you mean? Um, okay, and I forget so. It is the uh, the food when it when have a uh, sweet and oh sweet so? food. Sweet food. I don't like sweet food. Ah, okay, okay, all right. Okay. And that's it. Okay, so do you uh, you don't like food with those type of syrups? Mm, yes, for example, with the meat with uh, jam barbecue, for example. Barbecue, I okay. uh, no, so no, you don't I like don't it. like barbecue. No. <clears throat> All right, it's right. But then I love to eat. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you, Wilbur. What kinds of food do you like or dislike? Um. I like to eat burritos. Okay. Mexican food, actually. Let's see. Mm -hmm. What yeah. else do you like? Mm, I dislike... Gabriela, you need to turn your cameras on. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Wilbur. Okay. Continue. Of course. Thank you. I dislike his um, rice. No, so you don't sweet, like rice? Sweet, sweet, right. Uh -huh. Okay. How about tortillas? Who doesn't eat tortillas here? And how many do you eat? Who doesn't eat tortillas? Quien no come tortillas? Nobody? Okay. Yo, I am ready, teacher. Yes, I eat. So you eat, you eat tortillas. Okay. I sometimes eat tortillas. Just one tortilla. I don't know. Maybe in a week. <laughs> yeah. When I was a child, I didn't used to. I didn't like it. Yeah. And I try to eat just in case there is like a, a, a certain type of food, a delicious food that I can try with tortillas. So I eat it. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, I eat just the, the food and that's it, no tortillas. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes. Es rara vez que me como una tortilla. Pero al menos que esté tostadita o no sé, una cuajada que se me cruce por el camino. Pero rara vez. Y cuando como tortilla, mi señora me dice, y hace milagro, me dice, va a comer tortilla. Okay. It's, it's weird that I eat tortillas. Okay, Julio, what kinds of food do you eat or what kinds of food do you dislike? And there we have Osvaldo. Uh huh. Well, I like the edge all, but I dislike. Mm -hmm. I I don't I dislike, for example, um, the. ¿Cómo se llama? <laughs> Los rellenos de pacaya, uh, oh. la, la flor de isote. I don't like. Ah, come on. I dislike. Come on, Julio. <laughs> I love it. I love yes, that, that uh, food. Many, many, many people I like. Many people like, like it. Uh -huh. yes. Like that kind of but food. Me, uh, I am Salvadorian, but not like. <laughs> Not like that. You don't like it. Yes. Okay. It's all right. I love all kinds of uh, rellenos. I love them. All of them. Todos me gustan. Me gusta de pacaya, coliflor, de whisky, de relleno de, de loroco, de jote, de papa. 
eh, de tortilla, las chilaquiles. Les voy a mandar una foto a, lo, a los chicos porque veo que no me cargaron las imágenes. Así por lo menos que las tengan. Ok. Thank you guys okay. for participating. Any other volunteer before moving forward? Any other volunteer or no volunteers at all? Vaya, les mandé ahí las fotos para que más o menos sepan de lo que se está hablando. Okay. Yes. Eh, Carla, hi. Eh, sería siempre eh, con las comidas que gustan y no. Exactly. The food that you like and you dislike. Okay. Sería, I love the pasta. Mm -hmm. And dislike. There are some people that they don't eat like uh, certain kinds of kinds of food because they get, I mean, because of their illness or something. Mm -hmm. Solo comidas sólidas. No, lo que digo es que hay personas que no comen por, uh, por alguna enfermedad. No comen mm -hmm. algún tipo de comida. Por ejemplo, eh, sweet food, they don't eat it because of eh, diabetes or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other one? All right, let me go ahead and move forward. I'm going to go ahead and share my computer's screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Can you see it or not yet? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. No, not yet. Oh, now you can see it. Great. Uh, Julio, help me please me. with the lesson objective for today. Okay. Mm -hmm. By the end of this class, you will read the calculator relate or the full pyramid. Mm -hmm. You will all learn how to express the food that you like and dislike. Okay. Thank you. Now, let me go ahead and show you a video. I'm going to play a video. Listen carefully, take notes, and then we're going to continue participating, all right? Once you can see it, just let me know. And also, if you can listen to it as well. I see it now. Okay, great. Vocabulary food pyramid. There you go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the Pueden escuchar. Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips. Meat and other protein. Fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, beef, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, Strawberries, mangoes, 
Vegetables. Broccoli. Carrots. Lettuce. Tomatoes. Potatoes. Grains. Bread. Cereal. Crackers. Rice. Noodles. Pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give you a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all the stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends, family, and co-workers. And think about their likes and dislikes. Um, for example, my sister likes milk, uh, yogurt, uh, but she doesn't like cheese. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to use all the vocabulary that we learned on this lesson and express likes and dislikes. After you complete this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay guys, thank you. Now, uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and share the pyramid, food pyramid that you saw on the video. If you see, there you have the food that you watched on the video. And let me go ahead and show you this information. Can you see it or not yet? Not yet. Not okay. yet. It's all right. All right, there you go. Okay, so there you had the food pyramid that you were able to watch on the video. And let me go ahead and uh, explain you the category information, etc. Here you have a fat, oil, salt, and sweets. All right. This is the first part that you can see over here. Okay. Uh, you also have here meat, poultry, fish, eggs, dry beans, and dairy products. So, milk, cheese, all this part over here is dairy products. Okay, productos lácteos. And here you have meat, fish, beef, and egg. The next one you have fruits and vegetables. All right. There are many people who don't like vegetables and fruits at all. I love vegetables, I love fruit. However, I try to eat fruit just in the morning because fruit they have a lot of sugar. If you eat a lot of sugar, it's going to affect your health as well as grains and cereals, or uh, like bread, uh, uh, cookies, etc. Here you have grains and cereals. What kinds of this food do you like and don't you like? So you can say, I like 
okay? I like to eat, and then you can explain the information. Oh, let me select another one. Okay, there you go. I like to eat Okay, so I like to eat meat, but I don't like to eat, I don't know, fruit, for example. But I don't like to eat vegetables. You can say that. I don't. Now, by looking at the example, I don't like to eat Let's see. By looking at the example, I want you to give me your ideas. So for example, you can say, I love water. I love water, but I don't like, but I don't like milk. I like to eat eggs, but I don't like uh, grains, you can say that. Okay, I'm going to select some of you guys to give me your examples, but let me raise this part over here because that was very big. But okay, I don't. Okay, who's ready? I need some volunteers. Otherwise, I'm going to select some of you guys. Oswaldo, thank you for being a volunteer. I like to eat fish. Mm -hmm. I don't like to eat eggs. But you don't like to eat eggs. All right. More volunteers. Julio. Um, I like to... Very... Sorry. I like eat uh, egg, but I don't like milk. Excuse me, I I am. In... Uh huh. I I am many soon. Next. Okay. Volunteer, please. okay, another volunteer, please. Okay, Carla, and then Consuelo. I like to uh, meet, but I don't like um, eat. Please. No se escucha. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, Consuelo and then Nidia. I like to eat fruit. But I don't like to eat fish. Um, okay, Nidia. I like to eat fish and egg, but I don't like cheese and milk. Thank you, Flor de Maria. I like to eat a. Uh, Milk, cheese, but I don't like rice, broccoli. Broccoli. Okay. Gabriel Alvarenga. I like to eat carrot, but I don't like cookies. You don't like? Cookies, okay. The last volunteer. Hey, I, 
Jenny. And uh -huh. I like to eat in ki kitchen. Kitchen or but chicken? I, I, chicken. Chicken. <laughs> okay. Chicken. But <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. But, but I don't like to eat uh, candy. Candies. Okay. Uh huh. Who said may I? Uh, I, I am. Okay, Julio. Uh, Otra llamada está muy solicitada like, este Julio. Okay. Uh, I like to eat. Uh, fish. Mm -hmm. But I don't like the milk. Milk. You don't like milk. Okay. Thank you. Thank you guys. Now, do you have any questions? No questions at all? Is everything clear? It's clear. Okay. Thank you. Oh, only need practice. You need to practice. Okay. It's normal. It's normal. Let me go ahead and move forward. And I'm going to share the computer screen one more time because we're going to move to another lesson or chapter. And with this lesson objective, I want to listen to somebody else. Jenny Yasmin, read the, the lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, By the end of this class, you will learn what country and non code nouns are. Additionally, you will learn how to use the expression some and any. Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn what count and non count nouns are. Additionally, you will learn how to use the expressions some and any. Okay. I want you to take notes because you're going to watch a video and there you go. If you can listen to, let me know. If you can't, let me know. Hi well. everyone. In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How About Some Sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? 
Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. You are mute. Oh, sorry. According to the video, what were you able to understand about countables? Uh huh. Guys? Repeat, repeat please. What were you able to understand about countables according to the video? Aha, uh -huh, Catherine. I'm not sure, but I think that countable is, for example, when, for example, two apples or three um, orange and is that we we can count okay and they were talking about some and any correct some and any is that correct Some is a quantifier. Any is a quantifier too. And you can use some and any with countable and uncountable nouns. But maybe you're asking yourself, what's the meaning of countable and uncountable? First of all, 
you need to take into consideration that countables are all those nouns. Those can be objects, can be animals, can be places, can be people, okay? Uh, that you can count. For example, if you say, if you say in a singular form, you say a car, okay? A car, one car. To make it plural, you say two cars. The majority of the times, we are going to add letter S at the end of the plural noun. So for example, one car, two cars, one dog, two dogs, one book, two books, one house, two houses, one apple, two apples. If you see, letter S at the end of the word. One day, two days, one key, two keys, one boy, two boys, one guy, two guys, one donkey, two donkeys, one zoo, two zoos, one radio, two radios, one stereo, two stereos, one video, two videos, one kangaroo, two kangaroos. However, pay close attention to this part because this part is really important. If you don't know how to use it, when to use it, that's going to be confusing for you. There, I'm going to show you the rules to make the nouns plurals, for plural nouns, okay? If the noun ends in letter S, CH, SH, X, or letter Z, you are going to add ES. Look at the first noun. One bus, two buses. Letter ES. Those are the letters. One match, two matches. One dish, two dishes. One box, two boxes. One quiz, two quizzes. You have the next rule. This one over here, and let me highlight it. This one would be the rule number one. To the majority of the, of the nouns, we're going to add the letter S only. The letter S. This one we can say is the rule number one. And this one over here, is going to be our rule number two. Sorry about that. Let me erase it. Okay. This one is going to be our rule number two. Okay. ES. But we have the rule number three. Rule number three. With the rule number three, if the noun ends in letter F or F E, we're going to add V E S at the end. For example, one leaf, two leaves, one wolf, two wolves, one life, two lives, one knife, two knives. But you also have some exceptions here. Roof ends in with letter F, but you're going to say roofs. Cliff, cliffs. You have the rule number four. The rule number four, if the, the noun ends with, with a consonant, you are going to eliminate the letter Y and you are going to add IES. Example, one city, two cities, one baby, two babies, 
One story, two stories. One party, two parties. One country, two countries. If you see, I, E, S, to make the noun plural. So we eliminate the letter Y and we add I, E, S. Questions so far? Do you have any question? Any questions or is everything clear? Uh, yes. I clear. Everything it's is clear. clear. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, let's check. We have the rule number five. Rule number five. With the rule, rule number five, we have irregular nouns. Irregular nouns, they change completely. One man, two, I mean, one man, two men. You don't say two men, because if you say men, is incorrect. One child, two children. One foot, two feet. One tooth, two teeth. One mouse, two mice. One person, two people. If you see, the spelling changes completely. Is it clear? And we have the rule number six. With the rule number six, if the noun ends with a consonant O, you are going to add ES. One hero to heroes. One echo to echoes. If you see ES at the end of the noun to make it plural. One tomato to tomatoes. One potato, two potatoes. But you also have exceptions here. Look at the exceptions. One piano to pianos, one photo to photos. Why? Exceptions. And you have the number six, I mean, sorry, number seven for plural nouns, the category seven. These nouns, they don't change. No matter if, if it is singular or plural, you're going to say one chip to chip, one deer to deer, one fish to fish, not to fishes, to fish, one serious to serious, and one species to species. Questions or is that clear? Teacher? Uh -huh. Can you take a picture and send us because we need to practice uh, for a long time because it, I think in my case it's really difficult. It's okay. Ya les envié fotos. La tienen en el WhatsApp. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay. So, let's continue. And you also have the, the uncountable nouns, los no contables, uncountable. Los que vimos son contables. Estos son no contables. Uncountable. Uncountable. I think I'm missing the letter N. Okay, let's see. Uh-huh. In the things that there are uh countable, we we can use some and any. Con ambos, Both? con contables o no contables. Mm, okay. Uh -huh. Ese juega con, con ambos. Y no me quiero meter mucho en los quantifiers porque se van a confundir. 
Solo les mostré para que sepan que sum en any, esos son parte o categoría de los quantifiers. Esto, ve. Todas estas palabritas que ven acá se llaman quantifiers. Todas estas. Pero hay unas que funcionan solo con contables, una que funciona solo con no contables y, un, y hay otros que funcionan con ambos. Por ejemplo, miren estos. Funcionan con uncountable, just uncountable. Estos funcionan solo con contables y estos funcionan con los dos. Entonces, si se fijan, tenemos sum y tenemos any. Entonces, esto entra en la categoría que funciona con ambos. ¿Es that clear? Yes, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, now let's move to uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns. Why uncountable? Porque estos no se pueden contar. Usted no puede decir un grano, dos granos, dos granos. ¿Sí? No puede decir one, un aire, tu aire, dos aires. Okay? One air, two air, three air. Okay? No puede decir eh, una sangre, dos sangres, tres sangres. Eso no se puede. Ok. That's the reason why those are uncountable. And we have some category. Julio, read the category for crops. What do you have for crops? Julio. Uh... Yes, uh, I, I agree. Yes, please. Okay. Cotton. Cotton. Glass. Mm -hmm. cotton, cotton, cotton. Glass. Maize. Rice. Wet. 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 Okay. Thank you. Who's ready to what read the element? What meaning what? For crops, wheat. If wheat, I'm not mistaken, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, that will be. Creo que es. ¿Cómo que se llama lo que con lo que hacen el pan? Uh, harina. Por eso, o pero el, el grano. Levadura. Nombre. No, ese es, el, este, ese es lo que le pone. Pues sí, la harina, la harina del maíz. El trigo, el trigo. La harina, la harina. ¿De dónde sale la harina? Del trigo. <risa> ¿Qué? Okay. Ajá. Elements for air. Who's ready? Air. Mm -hmm. Or, I'm sorry, uh, the category for elements. You have air, fire, uh -huh. gold, mm -hmm. oxygen, water. Oxygen and water. Those are elements. Okay, for feelings, who is ready? Volunteers. Fíjense que si participaran más rápido, aprovecháramos más el tiempo y aprendiéramos más. Pero quedan ah, segundos guapo. en levantar las manos. Ok, Consuelo. Enjoyment, fear, hope, love, sadness. Ok. Hope, love, tire. Tiredness. Thank you, Nidia. Continue with gerunds. Eating, reading, running, sleeping, waiting. Thank you. Flor, continue with liquids. Not oil, petrol, soap, water. Petrol, soup, and water. Soap, water. Okay. 
Uh, I need a volunteer for many things in one. Furniture, luggage, money, news, etc. Okay, furniture, luggage, money, news, and literature. Literature. Okay, who's ready for materials? Karin, uh, sorry, Catherine. Catherine, yeah. Mm -hmm. And fabric, glass, metal, paper, and wood. Thank you. Jenny, powder. Ash, coca cola powder, cocoa powder, dust, dust. grain, grain, sand. Mm -hmm. Thank you. For the sports, who's ready? Uh huh. Basketball, football, or no, así. Yep, baseball, football, uh huh. Rugby, tennis, y volleyball, volleyball, creo que. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Who is ready for weather? Uh huh. Heat, mist, rain, snow, and. Sunshine. Sunshine. I can read. Okay. All of this, you cannot count. Todo esto no se cuenta. ¿Sí? Entonces, si un noun entra en esta categoría, es no contable. Usted no puede decir una agua, dos aguas, tres aguas, cuatro aguas, cinco aguas. ¿Sí? Lo que si sí puede decir una bolsa de agua, dos bolsas de agua, tres bolsas de agua. Eso sí se cuenta. ¿Sí? Porque ¿cuántos tipos de aguas hay? Solo hay una. Que las colore... Colo, ¿Cómo se dice? Las coloreamos es otra cosa. Por ejemplo, la Coca-Cola es puro color. Pero es agua. ¿Sí? Los químicos son colores. Que los han convertido en químicos, pero para, antes de ser químicos fueron aguas. El alcohol, eso es agua. Lo único que ya es, ya es agua con químico. ¿Ok? Entonces no podemos decir un agua, dos aguas, tres aguas, cuatro aguas, cinco aguas. Tampoco podemos decir eh, una sopa, dos sopas, tres sopas, cuatro sopas, cinco sopas. Tal vez un plato de sopa, dos platos de sopa y tres platos de sopa, ¿verdad? Ahí sí es totalmente diferente. Tampoco puede decir este, una arena, dos arenas, tres arenas, cuatro arenas. ¿Cuántas arenas tenemos? Solo hay una arena. Playas son diferentes, pero la arena es la misma. ¿Ok? No podemos contar cada granito, ¿verdad? Fuera de, es imposible querer contar cada piececita de, de, de arena. Entonces, those are uncountable nouns. You cannot count. Questions so far before letting you letting you go? Do you have questions? No, or no, no, no questions no. at all. Is the information clear? For me, yes. It's clear. Okay, it's good. now con let's continue talking about the food. Let me see if I can paste a conversation. And I need two volunteers. If you can see the conversation on the uh, Zoom chat, let me know. Two volunteers, you can raise your hands. You can raise your hands. Okay, Oswaldo, and I need another one.
Oswaldo and Flor de Maria. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, for the butson sandwich. Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't know how any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Thank you. Two more volunteers. Okay, Julio and Gabriela, go. Okay. Gabriela, what do you want for the picnic? Okay, Gabriela, creo que está mute. Mm. <laughs> Hot abutron sandwich. Okay, Carla, continue. Uh -huh. Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. Um, we do have any cheese. Do do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get it. Let's get some lemonade. And let's put and let's put some for that salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Thank you guys. Bye. Nos vamos a quedar acá porque me muevo para la siguiente clase. Seguimos mañana. Si no hace nada, buen provecho. And see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.